Christ having risen from the dead dies no more, death will no longer have dominion over him. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. There is no congregation here present this evening, but Mass will proceed as usual. We offer this evening's Mass to repose of the soul of Lady Helena Elliot. This is one of our foundation Masses, ones we're obliged to say every year. Pray for the repose of her soul and those of her family who still mourn her. But first, brothers and sisters, let us call to mind our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you were lifted up to draw all people to yourself. Lord, have mercy. You shouldered the cross to bear our suffering and sinfulness. Christ, have mercy. You open for your people the way from death into life. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, perfect light of the blessed, by whose gift we celebrate the Paschal mysteries on earth, bring us, we pray, to rejoice in the full measure of your grace for ages unending. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The Apostles and the brothers in Judea heard that the pagans too had accepted the word of God. And when Peter came up to Jerusalem, the Jews criticised him and said, You've been visiting the uncircumcised and eating with them, have you? Peter, in reply, gave him the details point by point. One day, when I was in the town of Jaffa, he began, I fell into a trance as I was praying and had a vision of something like a big sheep being let down from heaven by its four corners. This sheep reached the ground quite close to me. I watched it intensely and saw all sorts of animals and wild beasts everything possible that could walk, crawl, or cry. Then I heard a voice that said to me, Now, Peter, kill and eat. But I answered, Certainly not, Lord. Nothing profane or unclean has ever crossed my lips. And the second time the vision spoke from heaven, What God has made clean, you have no right to call profane. This was repeated three times before the whole of it was drawn up to heaven again. Just at that moment, three men stopped outside the house where we were staying. They had been sent from Caesarea to fetch me, and the Spirit told me to have no hesitation about going back with them. The six brothers here came with me as well, and we entered the man's house. He told us he had seen an angel standing in his house, who said, Send to Jaffa and fetch Simon, known as Peter. He has a message for you that will save you and your entire household. I'd scarcely begun to speak when the Holy Spirit came down to me, in the same way it had taught us at the beginning. And I remember that the Lord had said, John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. I realized then that God was giving them the identical thing he gave to us when we believed in the Lord Jesus Christ. And who was I to stand in God's way? This account satisfied them, and they gave glory to God. God, they said, can evidently grant even the pagans a repentance that leads to life. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My soul is thirsting for God, the God of my life. Like the deer that yearns for running streams, so my soul is yearning for you, my God. My soul is thirsting for God, the God of my life. When can I enter and see the face of God? O oh, send forth your light and your truth. Let these be my guide. Let them bring me to your holy mountain, to the place where you dwell. And I will come to the altar of God, the God of my joy. My Redeemer, I will thank you on the heart, O God, my God. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. I am the good shepherd, says the Lord. I know my sheep. And my own know me. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Through to the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through the divine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. God wash away my iniquities and cleanse me of all my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church, and as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also the gifts we bring may bear fruit and perpetual happiness through Christ's love. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to obtain you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, the Lord do yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. 
For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored into us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with partial joy, every land, every people, exult in your praise. Even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory, as they acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore this gift, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time in which he prayed and ended willingly in his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Mark, our Bishop Administrator, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Helena, whom you called from this world to yourself. Grant that she who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph as spouse, with the Blessed Apostle, with St. Michael, patron of our town, and with all the saints who have pleased us throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you, through your Son, Jesus Christ, through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. For Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. And this meaning of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, and in our lives, as we will see this Amen. May the decisions of your body and blood of Jesus Christ not be in the judgment of heaven, and may you receive your love and mercy, peace and your protection, mind and body, and everything that we do. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called for the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Jesus stood in the midst of his disciples and said to them, Peace be with you. Alleluia. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those who are pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in the flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The anthem to our Lord. Regina Kelly.